Many of the original colonists who came to America did so because they wished to practice their religions in ways found objectionable by the religious majorities in the countries from which they fled. The First Amendment's Free Exercise Clause reflects this history. In modern America, how does the First Amendment accommodate the practices of minority religious groups? The United States Supreme Court addressed this issue in Sherbert v. Verner. Adele Sherbert worked at a textile mill in her town in South Carolina. She normally worked Monday through Friday. In her 19th year of employment at the mill, she became a member of the Seventh-day Adventist religion. A key tenet of that religion is to treat Saturday as the Sabbath and thus not work on that day. Her conversion to that religion didn't pose a problem at her job until 16 years later, when the mill changed her work schedule, requiring her to work on Saturdays. Citing her religion's prohibition to working on Saturdays, she refused and was fired after working continuously for 35 years at the same mill. Thereafter, Sherbert looked for similar work at other mills in the town and was offered employment, but only on the condition that she agree to work on Saturdays. She declined the offers. Sherbert applied for unemployment insurance with the State Unemployment Commission. The commission denied her benefits on the grounds that she hadn't accepted jobs at other mills. Sherbert contended that she had shown good cause for refusing the job offers, namely her conscientious objection to working on Saturdays. The commission concluded that her religious objection wasn't good cause and denied her benefits. Sherbert lost both her appeal to the State Court of Common Pleas and her further appeal to the South Carolina Supreme Court. Sherbert appealed to the United States Supreme Court, which agreed to review her case. 